Eurasian Eagle Owl The Eurasian Eagle Owl is a species of eagle owl that resides in much of Eurasia. It is also called the European Eagle Owl and in Europe, it is occasionally abbreviated to just the Eagle Owl. It is one of the largest species of owl, and females can grow to a total length of 75 cm, with a wingspan of 188 cm, males being slightly smaller. This bird has distinctive ear tufts, with upper parts that are mottled with darker blackish coloring and tawny. The wings and tail are barred. The underparts are a variably hued buff, streaked with darker color. The facial disc is not very visible and the orange eyes are distinctive. The Eurasian eagle owl is one of the largest living species of owl as well as one of the most widely distributed. The Eurasian eagle owl is found in many habitats but is mostly a bird of mountain regions, coniferous forests, steppes and other relatively remote places, and have occasionally been found near farmland and in park-like settings within European cities. In 2020, a brood of three chicks were raised by their mother on a large, well-foliaged planter on an apartment window in the city centre of Gill, Belgium. It is a mostly nocturnal predator, hunting for a range of different prey species, predominantly small mammals but also birds of varying sizes, reptiles, amphibians, fish, large insects and other assorted invertebrates. It typically breeds on cliff ledges, in gullies, among rocks or in other concealed locations. The nest is a scrape in which averages of two eggs are laid at intervals. These hatch at different times. The female incubates the eggs and broods the young, and the male provides food for her and, when they hatch, for the nestlings as well. Continuing parental care for the young is provided by both adults for about five months. There are at least 12 subspecies of the Eurasian eagle owl. With a total range in Europe and Asia of about 32 million square kilometers and a total population estimated to be between 250,000 and 2.5 million, the IUCN lists the bird's conservation status as being of least concern. The vast majority of eagle owls live in mainland Europe, Russia and Central Asia, and an estimated number of between 12 and 40 pairs are thought to reside in the United Kingdom as of 2016, a number which may be on the rise. Tame eagle owls have occasionally been used in pest control because of their size to deter large birds such as gulls from nesting. Description The Eurasian eagle owl is a very large bird, smaller than the golden eagle but larger than the snowy owl, despite some overlap in size with both species. It is sometimes referred to as the world's largest owl, although Blackiston's fish owl is slightly heavier on average and the much lighter weight great grey owl is slightly longer on average. Haimo Mikola reported the largest specimens of eagle owl as having the same upper body mass, 4.6 kg, as the largest Blackiston's fish owl and attained a length of around 3 cm longer. In terms of average weight and wing size, the Blackiston's is the slightly larger species seemingly, even averaging a bit larger in these aspects than the biggest eagle owl races from Russia. Also, although 9 cm shorter than the largest of the latter species, the Eurasian eagle owl can weigh well more than twice as much as the largest great grey owl. The Eurasian eagle owl typically has a wingspan of 131 to 188 cm, with the largest specimens possibly attaining 200 cm. The total length of the species can vary from 56 to 75 cm. Females can weigh from 1.75 to 4.6 kg and males can weigh from 1.22 to 3.2 kg. In comparison, the barn owl, the world's most widely distributed owl species, weighs about 500 grams and the great horn owl, which fills the eagle owl's ecological niche in North America, weighs around 1.4 kg. Besides the female being larger, there is little external sexual dimorphism in the Eurasian eagle owl, although the ear tufts of males reportedly tend to be more upright than those of females. When an eagle owl is seen on its own in the field, it is generally not possible to distinguish the individual's sex. Gender determination by size is possible via in-hand measurements. Reportedly, in some populations the female may be slightly darker on average than the male. The plumage coloration across at least 13 accepted subspecies can be highly variable. The upper parts may be brown black to tawny buff to pale creamy gray, typically showing dense freckling on the forehead and crown, stripes on the nape, sides and back of the neck, and dark splotches on the pale ground color of the back, mantle and scapulars. A narrow buff band, freckled with brown or buff, often runs up from the base of the bill, above the inner part of the eye and along the inner edge of the black-brown ear tufts. 
The rump and upper tail coverts are delicately patterned with dark vermiculations and fine wavy barring, the extent of which varies with subspecies. The underwing coverts and undertail coverts are similar but tend to be more strongly barred in brownish black. The primaries and secondaries are brown with broad dark brown bars and dark brown tips, and gray or buff irregular lines. A complete molt takes place each year between July and December. The facial disc is tawny buff, speckled with black-brown, so densely on the outer edge of the disc as to form a frame around the face. The chin and throat are white with a brownish central streak. The feathers of the upper breast generally have brownish-black centers and reddish-brown edges except for the central ones which have white edges. The chin and throat may appear white continuing down the center of the upper breast. The lower breast and belly feathers are creamy brown to tawny buff to off-white with a variable amount of fine dark wavy barring, on a tawny buff ground color. The legs and feet are likewise marked on a buff ground color but more faintly. The tail is tawny buff, mottled dark gray brown with about six black brown bars. The bill and feet are black. The iris is most often orange but is fairly variable. In some European birds, the iris is a bright reddish, blood orange color but then in subspecies found in arid, desert-like habitats, the iris can range into an orange-yellow color. Standard measurements and physiology. Among standard measurements for the Eurasian eagle owl, the wing cord measures 378 to 518 mm, the tail measures 229 to 310 mm long, the tarsus measures 64.5 to 112 mm and the total length of the bill is 38.9 to 59 mm. The wings are reportedly the smallest in proportion to the body weight of any European owl, when measured by the grams per square cm of wing size, was found to be 0.72. Thus they have quite high wing loading. The great horned owl has even smaller wings relative to its body size. The golden eagle has slightly lower wing loading proportionately, so the aerial abilities of the two species may not be as disparate as expected. Some other owls, such as barn owls, short-eared owls and even the related snowy owls have lower wing loading relative to their size and so are presumably able to fly faster, with more agility and for more extended periods than the Eurasian eagle owl. In the relatively small race BB. Hispanus, the middle claw, the largest talon, was found to measure from 21.6 to 40.1 mm in length. A 3.82 kg female examined in Britain had a middle claw measuring 57.9 mm, on par in length with a large female golden eagle hallux claw. Generally, owls do not have talons as proportionately large as those of accipitrids but have stronger, more robust feet relative to their size. Accipitrids use their talons to inflict organ damage and blood loss, whereas typical owls use their feet to constrict their prey to death, the talons serving only to hold the prey in place or provide incidental damage. The talons of the Eurasian eagle owl are very large and not often exceeded in size by diurnal raptors. Unlike the great horned owls, the overall foot size and strength of the Eurasian eagle owl is not known to have been tested, but the considerably smaller horned owl has one of the strongest grips ever measured in a bird. Thanks for watching.